All our crops are underwater. Before we had a drought, and before that, the Felix hurricane. Since then, we had to start feeding our family with this. We are desperate. Paying the price for climate change, next on Global Pulse. A comparison of how broadcasters worldwide are covering the human toll from climate change. In a recent worldpublicopinion.org poll of 19 countries, in 15, the majority of people want their government to do more to combat climate change. Hi, I'm Erin Coker. But if you're watching U.S. news like ABC, CNN, or Fox, you might think that people don't even believe climate change exists. Or there's just as much discussion about the economic impact as the environmental one. Gore believes the overall science shows that CO2 in the atmosphere is cooking the planet. But a great number of Americans are not convinced. 44% of those questioned believe this is all a part of a long-term planetary cycle. Burger King is demanding one of its franchise owners take down signs that say, global warming is baloney. <laughs> Some say the government should be spending taxpayer dollars on going green smack in the middle of this terrible economy. The concern is that if America doesn't come up with the next big technology, some other country will, making our economic pain even worse. But climate change could already be having a big effect on people. Al Jazeera English reports on the plight of people in Nicaragua whose land and way of life are sinking out of existence. Deep in the heart of the Nicaraguan jungle, an indigenous community in peril. Climate change is having a devastating effect here. An unstable climate has made weather patterns unpredictable and basic survival more difficult. Look, this is what is left of our rice. Ten years ago, I could get four times more food than what we get today. One month, there is no rain, and now there is too much. In the village, people say that they have been asking the government to move them somewhere else, away from danger. They say nobody listens. Coastal villagers in Bangladesh share the same fate. As India's South Asian Newsline reports, they demand help from nations they claim are responsible for making them the world's first climate change refugees. Low-lying Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change. More land is being eroded gradually underwater due to frequent sea surges triggered by storms in the bay. Thousands are now joining an exodus inland where impoverished Bangladeshis are already competing for limited resources. It is estimated that by the year 2050, there will be 30 million climate-induced displaced person or climate refugee in our country. Chaudhry feels that his countrymen are in the midst of a catastrophe caused by the West. He says wealthy carbon-emitting countries have to pay for it. As France's TV5 reports, floods and land erosion are not the only results of climate change. A sacrifice, a sacrifice for the return of rain. The village chief doing everything to save his community, even calling out to God. In Nasapir village in northeast Uganda, drought has lingered for months, more intense than ever. The maize fields, for the most part, are scorched. We have never seen this kind of drought before. Before, I usually harvested it all and filled the bread basket, but now I have nothing to feed my children with. For Oxfam, there is one reason for such a drought, global warming. East Africa will not be the only region concerned. Basically, if emissions are not reduced by 40 percent between now and 2020, the effects of global warming will not be measured in money, but in million or even billions of lives. Oxfam estimates 26 million people have already been displaced because of climate change. 200 million people may be on the move each year by 2050 because of hunger, environmental degradation, and loss of land. While world leaders squabble over target CO2 reductions and focus the debate on the economics of climate change, people are living with the consequences of global warming now. So if what was happening in Nicaragua, Bangladesh, and Uganda were happening here, would there be less talk and more action? Tell us what you think. Go to our website or our blog and leave us a comment. For Global Pulse, I'm Erin Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. 
programs that connect you to the world.